So what is the toughest thing about being mom? You should change your question. Yeah, please. There's a whole list of being the tough. Ask what's the easiest part. Instead of being restless, might as well yeah. just do what you feel like doing. More than choice, I think it's very important that we be happy. happy. So happy moms are the prettiest matter. like they say, yeah. right? So I've been a sister, a daughter, a wife and now a mother. I think out of all the roles that I've played, uh, being a mom by far has been the most fulfilling and enriching experience. So today I decided to invite a few of my friends to share their journey of motherhood with us. So here they are! Hi! <laughs> so how have you girls been? It's been so long! So the first thing that I'm going to ask you all is that, was it easy to lose all the weight? <laughs> Why is she laughing? Yeah, so easy. I think I've just lost it. <laughs> In the process of losing weight, I think you just lose your sanity. That's imminent for you. Yeah. yeah. Have two kids, you get to know. Losing is very easy after that. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> for me, losing weight, I don't think so. So tell me, did you all get any food cravings during pregnancy? I yeah? did, yeah. What? I used to have a lot of uh, butterscotch ice cream. Ah. Both the times, can you believe? Both the With times. both the boys, yeah. no? She's got two boys and they're like so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Double trouble. What about you, Simpri? I had her, but luckily I had no cravings, but I used to pretend to just put my husband to work. <laughs> I had no cravings, absolutely no. No cravings. No cravings. Yeah. No cravings. So I remember, you know, when I was uh, expecting Karam, uh, one thing I just could not eat was pasta. No cheesy things and now I love. They said, let's eat. Let's eat and talk. <laughs> So, when was the last time you all had like a full night's sleep? I don't remember. I can't recall. Full night's sleep? <laughs> okay, for me it's That's easy because now I only two and a half, so yes. I can sleep around. It's good. Only eight and nine. I'm looking sleep. forward to this. Yeah, I love to sleep. Yeah. Well, looking I'm forward late. to this. It's just because of my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was late today, yeah. so we know why. <laughs> Ayan dances so well. He's such a cute boy. So, ये trait उस उसमें कहाँ से आई है? Obviously मेरे से आया है। रात दिन party तो करती हूँ मैं। All of you all who wants to have a second one? You know, Minnie has a second one, but <laughs> me too. Where do I go? So, can do mothers ever get a day off? No, I think I just take my car home. Like sometimes, just go out, leave everything. I think you never mentally feel. Yes, I think yeah, that helps me also. Just take take off on a drive. I want to come back soon. I leave Ayan. I go chup chup. So what about work? Have you all gotten back to work? Yeah, I started my own brand, so I'm kind of involved in that. So I'm happy with it. Although it's it's difficult. It's not easy. It's not the same anymore. What about you, Simran? I don't work. I was never working. I've been just spending my husband's money since the last eight years, and I hope to continue doing that. <laughs> so tell me, for a first time, mom, you all got a lot of suggestions. Ki aise karo, ye mat karo. I think free ki advice they just keep pouring in. And I love to have hundred rand because I love eating. And you all can see. I just see. I'm gonna take this. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. The yummy cheesy yeah. nachos. Mm. There goes the weight. So Priyanka, you ever get stressed out that if your child is not doing a certain thing and the other child is excelling and doing it, that comparison, do you feel the pressure? Never. That you should keep in mind from the beginning itself. There should be no comparison. Every child is unique. I think you are judged being a mother from the very first day, from like like a biggest question like a breastfeeding. Are you breastfeeding your child? For how long are you planning to do? I think that's a very personal thing. A woman should have the right to decide. And also that time the girl itself is so pressurized. The baby is so small. Yeah, you're so small. As a mother, you have a different anxiety to handle your child. And those questions, they can just kick you off in a different way. So I think you should just let the mother and child adapt to each other initially. But people judge you. Nobody's born a mother. You become a mother. Nia, you also agree with this, no? Yeah, of course, 100%. I would like to leave the children to their parents or parents. There is so much of an issue. So I don't leave my child with the servants or any new people. Still, you know, when I'm leaving my children, I'm leaving my children with the servants or any new people. Still, you know, when I leave my son with my parents or my in-laws, and you say, how can you leave your son like that? How can you do that? Okay, it's been 4 hours, now you haven't called me. 
I think it's a debut for the child as well so I think you should just let the child be and just grow with your child I think just let the child be so we can go on and on talking on motherhood right <laughs> but only one message that I'd like to give all the mothers out there young mothers that uh, just keep doing what you're doing because mothers know it the best yeah Absolutely. keep at it yes, of course so if you've liked the story don't hesitate just press the like button <laughs> Yeah, and you can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So keep watching. <laughs>